my first time ever having background it's the 2k sports pregame show greetings everybody welcome to 2k sports i'm ernie johnson here with shaquille o'neal and kenny the jet smith our matchup tonight taking place in toronto the scotia bank arena as we watch the raptors go up against the brooklyn nets and for brooklyn They've gone 4-1 over the last five, playing pretty well, and they're looking to build on that tonight. It has been an interesting ride thus far. Kenny, some teams really improving after a sluggish start. Yeah, well, credit the people running those franchises. Always look to improve. That's what you have to do if you're a franchise head. You can't just sit back and say, hey, we're going to accept this mediocrity. No matter what your record is. No question. No, season is a marathon, not a sprint. Lots oh, of ups let me write that one down. Just keep Hold trusting on. yourself. The season is a marathon. Not a sprint. Not wow. a sprint. And then make sure you put Shaq Stradamus. Shaq Stradamus. Did you yama, actually yama, make yama, that up? Something that was already said oh, many, 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 many it moons came ago. Off the top I've of the never head. heard that And you're that acting before. like it's, it's your original thought. It is my original thought. I've never it's heard that before. It's not a marathon. It's a sprint. Yeah, get away. Who said that before? I've never heard that. Oh. I got one for you, Ernie. What's that? E equals MC tripled. Ah. I've Think never heard that either. No, nobody has ever said that either. Think about it, though. I'm, I'm, I thought about it all I want. I did the math. It doesn't work. We're in the city of Toronto, the home of the Raptors, where we will be broadcasting today's action live. This is Kevin Harlan with Craig Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. This game will wrap up the homestand here for the Raptors. They've really been on a roll. They've gone five and one in their last six games. Yeah, and the atmosphere in this building is incredible. And as that win streak continues to grow, the fans' excitement has grown right along with it. And now we've reached that point where it's considered a frenzy.
Both teams deny dealing with injuries. Never easy, Doris. An unlikely contributor uh, may step up and play big. Yeah, I think sometimes you look at this as an opportunity for somebody to maybe step forward and say, I can earn myself some minutes right now. I can become a greater part of the rotation. So you play incredibly hard on the defensive end. You share the basketball. You run hard in transition. You do all the little things. If you've been a guy who's not in the rotation on a night-by-night basis, here is your chance. So the Nets starting five. Hollis, Jefferson, and Allen together down low. Harris is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Carouge in at the three spot. And Harris wide open. He shoots, sinks the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Three-pointer. And Danny Green hits from deep. Green's got five. Uh, okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. Well, I love how personal this thing is getting. If you drain a three on me, anything you can do, I can do better. Count it. I don't think the pass could be better placed. That's a great assist. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Raptors moving the ball around. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Boy, nice team basketball being played right there. You see the open man, and you deliver the ball right away. And it's Harris with the ball for the Nets. Last time they met was in Brooklyn. Yeah, a really close game between these two in that last matchup. It took a total team effort for them to get the win. Yeah, I don't think they win without the productivity they got from their bench. That made the difference. Here's Karuch. He's covered by Leonard. And here's Harris from the arc. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. I'll tell you, there are guys in the league you can give that three-point attempt to. He is not one of those guys. Here's Leonard. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Passes it to Karuch. And that one is stuffed right through. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. Here's Ibaka, and it falls over the rim and in. And he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper, first bucket of the day. A pretty good way to start the game, right? The defense has to be more aggressive, keeping him away from that area of the floor, or it's going to be a long night. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgic, doesn't yeah. it? And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. The Raptors have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. And Leonard gets it to go. And how about the start they've gotten off to? They haven't missed once. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Leonard with the steal. From 20 feet out. No good off the front iron. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. And so it's Brooklyn with it. They trail by one. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. I mean, you'd have to question their effort, Greg. They did a great job at penetrating and kicking out. The defense simply wasn't up to the task. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Well, Serge Ibaka has really worked on his frame since he entered the NBA. He is someone who can power his way through contact. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Here's Russell. It's blocked. They retain possession. That one drops for him. Here's Lowry. He's coming off a 16-point game against Atlanta. And what a wrecking ball defensively. Seen by the four steals he had in that game. Leonard with the bucket. Strong start here early. Four of his first five made. Over to the left wing. 
Karuch. That one off the back iron and out. One thing you have to admire, Doris, about the Raptors franchise is their sustained success. And that's not easy, Kevin. Last year marked their third straight 50-win season and their fifth straight postseason trip. Very few other teams can claim those items in that time frame. For the Raptors, what a good, solid core. And the Nets with possession here. The Raptors getting the bucket. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Leonard, and there are the Raptors with another bucket. Yeah, and for mid-range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Baby, it is showtime. And that last replay, courtesy of the Under Armour Hover Havoc, unleashing a little bit of chaos. Raptors leading by five. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. Boy, Kyle Lowry can be so creative sometimes. You think the window's too tight, but he finds a way. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. And Danny Green, a terrific shooter who also, Greg, happens to give you great production on defense. Yeah, and I have to say, Green's probably alone in history with his shooting and defense. Only player to ever have six or more seasons with at least 50 blocks and 73s. You know, it might be arbitrary checkpoints, but, but nevertheless, it illustrates just what Green brings to the table, a consistent 3 and D player. to check out some of the numbers for Harris. He's right around 13 points a night, three rebounds, and two assists. And this is the kind of strong, steady play you like to see. He's earning his keep and helping them win games. I think they need more consistency from him, and they're getting it. Look for this to continue. I love it. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Russell against Lowry. Russell, no luck. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. And with Kawhi Leonard, he just does everything well on the floor. Offense, defense, rebounding, runs the floor. I mean, he is one of the more complete players in our league. He can completely take over a game on both ends. Two shots. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. And Greg with Kawhi started as a defensive stopper, but he now is so much more than that. I mean, he's got a great outside shot, the, that pull-up jumper, the turnarounds in the post. He has the complete repertoire. You, you never would have thought he was only viewed as a defense guy once upon a time, but was already a fantastic player. But this is a guy that continues to just add to his game. Looking at the midseason numbers for international viewership, Doris, the league is really making an impression around the world. I know soccer is maybe the biggest sport world. Oh! And when you build a big lead like this, especially early, you have to guard against the letdown. No, exactly right. You can't afford to get complacent, right? They have to stay hungry and humble if they want to keep this lead. They get it again. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Karuch has got 10. He is getting it done 
on the offensive end. Five buckets through seven shots. And Leonard gets it to go. Well, he's one of those guys who's kept their offense clicking there in front, thanks in no small part to what this guy's done. Pass to Karuch. Knocked loose. Here's Hollis Jefferson. To the paint. And the basket by Karuch. He's got 12. Boy, as aggressive as he's been hitting all these shots, they're still behind. Here's Leonard. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fifth assist in this one. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Here's Hollis Jefferson. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. And the basket by Karuch. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Leonard, and it's blocked. Lowry against Russell. Down low, here's Karuch. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And it's Green with the jam. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. Yeah, you know, they may have gotten the feeling he would dish it off, but he had a surprise for them. And here's Harris from the arc. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Here's Lowry. Here's Ibaka. Basket counts. And it's an 11-point Raptor lead. I have always loved the intensity with which Serge Ibaka plays, especially on the glass. He understands how to use his length. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. You know, and Serge Ibaka, a player who kind of came into the league as a defensive stopper, shot blocker, you know, still has great length and can bother shots, but not the prolific shot blocker he once was as the focus has become more on the offensive end. <laughs> As you can see, I've got my go-to face on. And they can't chat when I've got my go-to face on. Pull up at the show, I put my go-to face on. Feds on my case, but I've got my go-to face, face on. I don't wanna speak, no. don't wanna email, don't wanna meet. Man, don't care if your hair's on fleek. If you interrupt me, you will get me. Don't take me to heart, I've got that seat. Respect me, you'll see me on street. Right now, I'm on a serious mission. The man can't speak if it ain't complete. Pass me shit. Big man, no and Toronto will go for a different look here. OG Ananobi's checked in for Siakam. CJ Miles comes in for Leonard. Powell, he's checked in for Danny Green. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. And with Ibaka at one point would average almost four blocks a game. Yeah, I mean, it, it is hard for any player to maintain a pace that high at this stage. Ibaka's done well to adjust, I think, his capabilities and make sure he can still have an impact on defense. The, the block numbers won't ever be as gaudy as they once were, but he is still causing problems for shooters. Man, hard to believe. Already, they're staring at a double-digit lead, and we've just gotten started. Boy, they have come out strong. They've controlled the pace, asserted their will. Wow. Naper kicks to Dinwiddie. Outside, Davis. Now the pass to Dinwiddie. Six on the shot clock. It's Carroll on the wing. That shot missing. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Here's Hananobi. He can't get that one. Great D that time from Davis. Nets trail by 11. Feeds to Carroll. Tries again. And the layup is good. Well, this guy loves the phrase, quote, hard work is a talent, and you can see Damari Carroll's work on the glass there. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors, stolen by Dudley. 
now, here's Napier. 11 points for him in that last game against Atlanta. And he was aggressive in how he played on the defensive side of the floor, notching three steals on the game. Now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with head coach Kenny Atkinson. Well, Kevin, the crucial aspect in his mind is making things tough for them inside. He said they're a physical team, and they bring a lot of intensity. If we don't respond when they push us, we'll just get bullied all game. We're going to get down in the paint tonight, Kevin. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. A great size of the point guard position. Dinwiddie, fantastic getting into the paint and making the defense pay. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Now Napier, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, think about it, guys. Last year, Spencer Dinwiddie, a little bit of a breakout year, right? Stepped in for the injured D'Angelo Russell and helped the Nets stay competitive, proving to be a big-time scorer. And Doris Dinwiddie's so good at finding a play to make, even when it seems he has nowhere to go. Well, that quick first step opens up space to get into the passing lanes. This guy makes a lot of jump passes, but seems to get away with it. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. It's Carroll on the wing. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Well, I'll tell you, it hasn't been his best quarter, but we know he won't get discouraged. This guy will keep grinding. Miles, that's good. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Naper kicks to Dudley. There's the dish to Dinwiddie. Passes to Naper. And it's Carroll in the corner. And that's working now with a new shot clock. Toronto leading by 12. Here's Hananobi. Crystal blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And the muscle that Ananobi possesses, fantastic at gutting it out through contact and finishing. You know what you love about watching OG Ananobi? You feel like you're watching a vet when you watch this guy. He doesn't seem to get rattled in pressure situations. This guy plays like he's been in the league for a decade. Right, he's checked in for the Raptors. One shot. And Doris for Ananobi, he has said he felt like he could compete with anyone. Well, to me, Kevin, that's part of being able to be the defender he is. He's got strength and quickness to match up with most wings in the league, but confidence is critical. You know, I think the defense is thinking, I don't have to guard him on the line, but that's just a matter of whether he could knock it down, and he does. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Dinwiddie, and it's Toronto with the rebound. Unbelievable. He blew the hell up, guys. No clue what went wrong there. But they recover it. And the Raptors miss again. Nets trail by 12. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Boy, great job protecting the rim and turning an easy layup into a missed opportunity. Sinks the three-pointer. 17 seconds left here in the first quarter. It's Carroll on the wing. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Ibaka. Count the basket. Ibaka's got eight points. Really hard to slow down Serge Ibaka. When he's driving, he embraces the challenge of scoring through contact. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for Toronto. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. Back to the action after this word. Making his mark in Toronto, guard Kyle Lowry talked about the pioneers of Canadian basketball. Like Vince Carter. 
Vince Carter really changed the game of basketball in Canada. He created something that is forever lasting. And I think the game of basketball in, in Canada owes him a lot because he really brought the buzz to the game of basketball in Canada. Couldn't have said it better myself. Carter's exciting style of play, GA, really energized the whole country. And playing basketball in a hockey town isn't easy, but Carter really helped get this city and country energized about the game of basketball. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, the Raptors enjoying a nice lead here. I love the fact that they're getting so many of their points at the rim. Just a solid first period. Well, Greg, playing bully basketball on the block. Every opportunity they've wanted at the rack, they've got it. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for Toronto right now, Ananobi out there with Ibaka. Then there's C.J. Miles, and it's Van Vliet in at the point. To the wing right side. Graham with the ball. In the corner, Napier with it. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Toronto leading by 21. Here's Hananobi. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Exceptional play across the board. I love their tenacity. Just piling it on at this point. You know, and the beauty is it hasn't just been offense, right? It's been the defensive end as well. They're firing on all cylinders right now. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Can you, you remember the last time they missed? I really can't. They're on fire. Seems like they cannot miss. They get a hand on it, and that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Next ball. And the upcoming schedule for Brooklyn. On Monday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Boston Celtics. Then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Houston Rockets. And for their matchup with the Magic, even though they should get the win, I, I would expect it to be a bit of a battle. Just because they are favored doesn't mean it's an automatic W. And it's Napier missing. And so Ibaka will bring it up for Toronto. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why timeout, they've been timeout. able to get these good looks. Timeout called. The Nets, with the analysis, the defensive impact becoming more advanced, Doris. Do you think that helps defenders gain recognition even when they're not uh, putting up numbers in individual statistical categories? Well, think about a recent winner of the Defensive Player of the Year, and that's Draymond Green whose value becomes into sharp focus, particularly in the fourth quarter of games. When it becomes a possession ball game and Draymond Green is flying around the floor in help defensive position, covering up for teammates' mistakes, I absolutely think, Kevin, increasingly because of the advanced metrics, that players can be defined outside of points and rebounds. So I love the impact of the numbers. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. Harris is checked in for the Nets. Let's bring out the 2K leaderboard to see the best up-tempo teams in the league. The Raptors third. You know, it's an entertaining style of play. And look, I mean, those are the baskets you want if you've got the legs for it. Scoring becomes a lot easier. Dinwiddie passes to Harris. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists tonight. Here's Van Vliet. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Right. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Pass to Graham. There's the three. Siakam pulls it in. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. That one goes. Count it. 
Kev, because C.J. Miles is such a deadly shooter, defense closes, that opens up the dribble drive off the bounce. Really good read. And here's Carroll. A 17-point game for him in the win against Atlanta. And one of the big ways he came through was at the foul line. They couldn't contain him. He was equally effective at scoring baskets as well as getting to the line. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Knocks down the three ball. Carroll's got his third basket of the night. You know, early in his career, Kevin, Damari did not have the green light from deep, but he's proven to be more than capable from three-point distance. Indicative of what we've seen tonight, one team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Right, really a disappointing effort on the defensive end, not offering any challenge at all at the cup. I'll tell you, it'd be a big help if he could snap out of this cold streak. His shooting has been hurting them. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. I'll tell you, you've got to admire the energy. This guy really wants to put this one away. So for the Nets, Allen's checked in for Davis. Hollis Jefferson comes in for Damari Carroll. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Dinwiddie. Rondé, Hollis Jefferson. D'Angelo Russell. Now here is Harris. Defense right on him. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Harris. Harris has got three assists in the game. Here's Miles. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Miles has got four points in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Allen finds Hollis Jefferson. To the inside. Out to Russell. For three, Harris. And that one is off. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. You can see the confidence of C.J. Miles down in the paint, right? He's got long arms to get the shot off whenever he wants. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And his average at the line stands at about 79% right now. So solid numbers in that department. Leonard, he's checked in for Toronto. Lowry comes in for Fred Van Vliet. One shot. Well, the lefty C.J. Miles continues to get it done. Such an excellent shooter and length on the defensive end. A good two-way player. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Siakam far from the most skilled player on the floor, but Dorsey finds minutes through his hustle. This guy has got one of the highest motors in the league. He can leak out in transition, finish in the open floor. I'll tell you, this is a jolt of caffeine in a power forward's body. Here's Harris. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. How about the toughness, Kevin, from Hollis Jefferson on the interior? Fantastic at using his length close to the rack to get that contact. The Nets have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And 75% and on the season as a unit from the free throw line. No good on the free throw. Out of offense is Doris. Initiate that high pick and roll offense, which is so fun to watch. Which ball handlers do you want running that play for you if you were on the sideline? Come on now. There are some master manipulators in the pick and roll. Let's begin with the great James Harden. We'll begin with his teammate, Chris Paul. Steph Curry. You give Steph Curry options to read in a pick and roll, he's going to make the right choice. There are a lot of guys who can manipulate the defense in a pick and roll, but those three are at the top of my list. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Lowry is a player who has worked his way to stardom. 
He says, I still feel like I can be better. I'm never satisfied. My team is good, but I think the best I can be is a champion. There is no other goal in basketball. Guys? DA, that's how you truly create a legacy. Toronto's gone three or four from long range in the game. Here's Green. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got five rebounds tonight. Russell with a wide open look. Cans it from downtown. Russell's got five points now this quarter. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. That one goes in. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Harris dishes to Allen. Back to Harris. Here's Karuch. An 11-point game for him in the win against Atlanta. Almost Jefferson can't hit. Here's Lowry, and there are the Raptors with another bucket. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. Russell kicks to Allen. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Oh, oh wow. That's crazy. That's a beautiful jam. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Hollis Jefferson doesn't mind showing out a little bit. What a sensational leaper. A shot by Lowry, no good. And a surprise, he doesn't knock that down. Defense a little too lax that time. Russell. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Upside Lowry. No good on that one. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Russell from long range gets that one to drop. That's his third field goal in eight tries. Well, tremendous job on the pull-up jumper, right? D'Angelo Russell taking advantage of what the defense gives him. Lowry's shot is good. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. In the corner, it's Harris from outside the arc. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got assist number seven for him tonight. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. To the left wing, Harris outside. This one for three. And the Nets, another three. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Here's Leonard, and good. Got the English that time as it falls. Leonard's got 22 points. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Well, you want to slow this man's roll right now if you're the defense because you've got to make somebody else beat you. He's cooking right now. Here's Lowry. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. And DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Timeout. Powell Timeout. is checked in for Danny Green. And the Nets making a change here as well. Dudley's checked in. So timeout called here, the first for Toronto. When you watch Kyle Lowry play, you see how much bigger he is than his stats. He does so many little things on both ends of the floor. I mean, he's a great screen setter, takes charges. All the things that don't necessarily show up in the stat sheet, but are important when it comes to winning. making a switch here. Ibaka's checked in. A moment here to look at some numbers for Siakam. Averaging 15 points a game, six rebounds, and three assists. And for any other player putting up those numbers, we, we'd say they were great, but for him, th 
They're just simply run of the mill. Agreed. A lot of guys in this league would be very happy with that stat line, but this guy is the real deal. He is built for more. And Greg, with Lowry, it isn't like he's quiet on the stat sheet either. Yeah, he is a bulldog. I mean, he scores it, the playmaking. He's just complete in terms of a backcourt player. Rebounds as well as anybody for his position and got good hands on defense. He just gives you a little bit of everything at that point guard position. And how about Ibaka getting off the floor for that dunk? What a great finish. Now, here is Russell. 23 points for him the last game against Atlanta. Dudley's shot is good. I tell you, there are players who can get thrown off when they're that wide open, but this guy keeps his cool and doesn't rush it. Got that bucket in in no time at all. 14 points for Serge Ibaka. And, and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks for mid-range. And Dudley kicks to Harris. The putback, great positioning on the putback. What a fantastic game he's had on the offensive end. If only his teammates could keep up. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Allen. The pass to Hollis Jefferson. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Howell inside, guarded by Harris. They get it back. And gobbled up that rebound and went straight into attack mode on the putback. Oof, he, he is one of the most determined rebounder skies uh, we have got in the NBA. The tireless work ethic, the passion. He's a guy the team relies on for that. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. Kicks to Dublin. To the inside, Allen. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Allen's got four points now in the quarter. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Well, you love to see Norman Powell be unselfish and find an open teammate. That's pretty. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Fires from 14. Here's Allen. Ibaka with some nice D. Toronto's gone three of four from long range in the game. Here's Powell. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson. The rebound by Ibaka. Buck has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. The Raptors shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And, and how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. And Find it's Fred Van Vliet in for Let's Kyle stop. Lowry. That free throw good from Leonard. You know, there are differing opinions as to who the best defensive player in the league is. But no matter what, Kawhi is always in the discussion. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. No hesitation at all in transition, and they have a huge margin in that department. Here's Dinwiddie. To end the run, and the rejection by Ibaka. Boy, still a dependable shot blocker. That is what got Serge Ibaka playing time at the beginning of his career. Nice. And so it's Toronto. Way out in front. Their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? 
We got to come out with our energy. We got to come out and play our game and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal at 2K Sports. Let's talk first half. Kawhi Leonard is having one of those nights. He had 29 points, three rebounds, and one assist. Some great work from him in the first two quarters. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? I love the way they're getting after it in the paint. Moving bodies, attacking the rim, scoring at will. Sometimes teams try to hurt you with the three ball. They went right for the heart of the defense. Look at them to keep pounding it inside and staying physical. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, a recipe for disaster, honey. Without major improvements defensively, this game is O-V-A, over. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. The evening commute has plenty of people on the move here tonight in Toronto, where we welcome you back. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. You know, my favorite thing, Greg, I think he showed no fear in attacking the defense. He got on the interior with ease. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. The Nets shooting straight 49% from the field. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Hollis Jefferson and Allen together down low. D'Angelo Russell out there with Harris. And it's Carrouge in at the three spot. And Leonard gets it to go. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And the Nets with possession here. Over to the wing. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, you think about the Brooklyn Nets and Kenny Atkinson having a tough task of rebuilding this organization. It is still feeling the effects of the trade that stripped them of so many picks. But give Kenny credit for embracing the challenge and knowing there's a long road ahead. Well, they've been back. Oh, oh, oh. And he moves so well. When Leonard drives the lane, it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket. Terrific body control, and he plays with the ultimate force. And that was an Unleashed Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Lowry can't get it to go. Brooklyn's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Carooch passes to Harris. He kicks it to Russell. Three-pointer, and it's Toronto with the rebound. Leonard's got four rebounds now tonight. Rough start to the third quarter. Four attempts, no makes. Drains it from beyond the arc. Great beginning to this second half. Now three for four from the field. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Now Russell, he's got eight in the corner. It's Harris. They need this. And again, it's the Nets missing. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. And again, it's Toronto converting. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Inside. Out to Russell. Passes it to Harris. Shot clock at six. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. 
Here's Russell. And it falls over the rim and in. Russell's got 10 points. Wow, what a smooth looking jumper. Russell right now showing he's confident and comfortable from any spot on the floor. Nets shooting in this game, 45%. On the wing, Harris. He's got 17. Allen shot is off. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Well, that's how you attack in transition. Remarkable effort, getting as high percentage of look as you can really get. For Toronto, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. The free throw drops for Leonard. Right around three minutes into the second half. And it's Russell in the corner. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Harris has got his fifth assist in this one. Well, it's key that you've got to maintain concentration throughout the game, and D'Angelo Russell, nice job in the catch and shoot. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Ibaka's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Shots good by Green. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Here's Hollis Jefferson. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. 14 points for him. And that was a, a real quick comeback there. Both sides showing some range. But both teams are pulling the trigger right now, showing great confidence from behind that arc. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. From deep, Green with the rebound. Uh, boy, despite the miss, he did a really good job shaking himself completely free from the defense. Incredibly reliable as a scorer. He's always looking for ways to help the team succeed. It's happening again tonight. Harris with it. 17 points in the game. And guys, veteran Danny Green moving north last summer as part of the Kawhi Leonard trade, now in a Toronto Raptors uniform. Yeah, and not the big name in that deal, obviously, but an important piece. Green is shown to be a very capable 3 and D guy, and, and it's the next chapter in what has been a solid career for him. Leonard with the steal, and now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up, and he makes that one. Lowry's got 20 points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And here's Russell. 13 points in the game. And the Nets miss again. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Here's Lowry. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Lowry's got seven points for the quarter. Just impress with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. In the corner, it's Harris. To halt the run, doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Here's Ibaka. It's hauled in by Harris. Now, kicking himself on that one. That is the shot he wanted. Well, that's usually money in the bank for that guy. Not sure how he missed that one. Allen, good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. And it's eight points for Allen. Yeah, surprised he doesn't have more shot attempts. He's been accurate. You'd think he'd want to take control now with them behind. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Fast break Toronto, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam, 
at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm-hmm. offense. Yeah, and he was so quick to break on that one. A good sign that he read the play. Count the basket. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. The Raptors shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And the Raptors with some changes. OG Ananobi comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Powell in for Green. One shot. Mind the lanes. And here's Brooklyn. Pass to Graham. Back to Napier. And they get it. And that's good for two. Toronto's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Siaka misses. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting a pretty wretched 28% in the third quarter. This offense needs to maybe try some different angles. Carroll finds Napier. Misses the three. I'll tell you, I hate to say it, but he's been dragging them down all night. The effort's there, but he continues to be ice cold. Burnett shooting at a decent 44% clip here. And it's Norman Powell with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Well, so often when a player changes teams, Doris, we see a lot of emotions from him, his teammates, from the fans and coaches. Is it even reasonable to expect loyalty in sports nowadays? You know, I think times have changed, Kevin. We're no longer living in an era where a player sticks with an organization throughout the course of his tenure, or at least that is the outlier nowadays. The reality is teams always make decisions with their long-term best interests at heart. And so when a player has earned the right to embrace his free agency, there's a reason it's termed free agency, then he should have an equal opportunity to the team to make the decisions that are in his best interest. Whatever those values and priorities for that individual player are, when you reach free agency, you've earned that right. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, I like to see them mix it up a little bit. You've got to keep the opposition off balance. With a break in the action, time for a rundown now of the most accurate shooters at small forward over the last 10 games. You look at Carroll, fourth in the league and as consistent as they come. And, and that is such an efficient group offensively. That really is the best way to describe them. I mean, they never force anything and always wait for the right shot. You know, in addition to that patience and efficiency, they're each extremely talented natural scorers. They've got the kind of precise form all young players would do well to replicate. It's deflected. Look at Damari Carroll get in space and block the shot. Defense at its best. Here's Van Vliet. And they're trying to stretch that lead out with the three-point shot, but their percentage hasn't been what they'd like it to be here in the second half. Here's Davis, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket That's anyway, good. so a three-point play chance for him. Well, he doesn't quit on that play. Just stays with it and gets some easy points on the putback. That's nice. First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. And, guys, you might remember that he was not at his best from the foul line in their last outing. One shot, gentlemen. Toronto's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. And the shot goes in from Siakam. 
Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. And Zonapier will bring it up for Brooklyn. To the middle, here's Graham. Rebound by the Raptors. Ananobi has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. They swipe it. Here's Dinwiddie. He's got five. In the corner, Napier with it. The putback, Davis on the follow. Davis has got seven points in the game. Yes, yeah, second chance points again. A huge problem for this team. Siakam, it falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting a pretty wretched 28% in the third quarter. This offense needs to maybe try some different angles. Well, continuing to show confidence in that jumper. Spencer Dinwiddie looking comfortable. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi, and he drops it in from the low post. He's got 13. And really the story of the half, one team shooting it lights out. The other, the lights are just out. Yeah, that's right. You said it. They don't find a way to switch it back on. They're in trouble. Graham, the pass to Carroll. Dinwiddie dishes to Napier. Six on the shot clock. Unloads from nine. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Toronto's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. And it's in there. This is Powell at his best. In attack mode, he is hard to stop. Powell's gone 67% from the field. 4 of 6. And it's Carroll in the corner. From outside, off the mark. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Miles, that's good. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The net shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. To the right side. In the corner, Napier with it. And the three off target. Oh, he'd like to have that one back. He almost never get that wide open a look. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Well, Kevin, you've got to love how aggressive C.J. Miles is right now. He's constantly looking and probing the defense for his own shot. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. Greg Monroe, he's checked in for the Raptors. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Dudley's checked in. On the free throw, no good. So it's Brooklyn now. Carroll finds Dudley. Buries the long-range jumper. Dudley's got six. Boy, that possession doesn't come together if it's not for Carroll's assist. He brings it home for him with the pretty dime. And that one drops. 116 left in the third quarter. Now, here's Napier. Taking a look at the scoring numbers, right now he averages about nine points a game. Pass to Carroll. The three. They get it back. Dudley, no luck. Toronto's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Here's Miles. Second chance shot. And the layup by Powell. Ten points for him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Dinwiddie. Good, and it's Napier with the assist that time. Napier's got four assists now tonight. Gentlemen, this guy goes from good three-point shooter to great when you give him that kind of space. And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. Here's Dinwiddie. And the Nets, another three. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triples repeatedly, the defense starting to look helpless at this point. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. And it's Carroll in the corner. And it's Brooklyn scoring again. Carroll. 
19 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Monroe, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the call, Brooklyn the foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Greg Monroe. And the Raptors making a change here. And so Greg Monroe nails both of them. Here's Dinwiddie. 14 points for him. The feed to Dudley. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feed. Dinwiddie's got his fifth assist in this one. Right inside. And the layup is good. Wright's got seven points in the game. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. And so it's the Toronto Raptors enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? Boy, G.A., how about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Ananobi out there with Norman Powell. Then there's Monroe. And it's right in at the two-guard spot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Here's Monroe to the paint. The kick out to right. And good that time. Wright's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Raptors. Boy, that's a decisive move to the cup. He gives the defense no chance to react. Good. Nice play there from Napier. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Here's Dinwiddie. Well, the league taking steps to us to reform the draft lottery, flattening out the odds doing a variety of things just to analyze the way it works, the mechanics. Do you think the change will be enough? Well, again, I think this goes back to the leadership at the top of the NBA, and the right man is in charge in Adam Silver. And as is typical to Adam Silver, everything happens with a very measured approach in terms of reform. You do a little bit, and then you evaluate. But I think Adam has made it clear that the change they made to the draft lottery was nothing more than a first step. Now, where do we go from here? That remains to be seen. Shooting two. First one falls for. 
Malachi Richardson, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. And the Nets also making a change. Fareed's checked in for Davis. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And that one's good. Wright. Wright's got six here in this quarter. Just giving up way too many transition opportunities. And there's the pass to Dinwiddie. Offensive rebound. Dudley. The layup off target. In Toronto, they've gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. That one falls. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for Brooklyn. Lots of room. Not enough on that one as it misses. Yeah, bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. I'm not sure why he doesn't continue to move the basketball. Would have served that team much better. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Napier kicks to Dinwiddie. Back to Napier. Takes a three. Toronto grabs the miss. Hey, the defense is content to let him prove he can make that shot, and so far, he cannot. Oh, that's good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Vareed has it in the corner. Ripped away. It's Richardson on the wing. Got that one up quick. And it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, they're making all the right moves. Their chemistry tonight has been phenomenal. Napier passes to Dinwiddie. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Yeah, really frustrating right now. They just can't seem to stem the tide here. Nothing they're doing on the defensive end is working. They've got to figure something out and fast. Oh, this is ridiculous. Can you, you remember the last time they missed? I really can't. They're on fire. Seems like they cannot miss. The drive by Monroe. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Here's Dinwiddie. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Good. Nice play there from Napier. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Ananobi, good. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Now Napier over in the corner, Dudley. Off target from three-point range. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. They grab their own miss. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Richardson's got four points now in the quarter. That's all about the positioning right there. Doesn't let anybody beat him to the spot before he can get the follow-up. Pinson. No good with the triple. Toronto's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Powell, that's good. This to me is where he can be lethal. In fast break situation, Norman Powell speeds a problem. Napier finds for Reed. Here's Dinwiddie. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Boy, in the second half, just hitting a much higher percentage of his shots. Really looks composed now. Doris, for both charting game action and improving player health, the players now are being tracked by the player tracking devices or chips in their jersey during a game. I love it, Kevin, because what it enables Mind teams the to do Mind is the measure the impact and the toll it can take on a player. For example, we now know that player X ran five miles on this particular night in this game action environment. And what that affords you is, okay, if you have a back-to-back -back situation, then you're going to be more careful with that player's minutes the next night. Or if it's an off day, Kevin, and you can just say to that player, listen, unless we're doing a walkthrough, you're not involved. I want you off your feet and recovering. Anything that helps the competitive environment that these players are playing in, I'm all for it, Kev. That was an excellent example. I like that. 
And it's Napier time out, time missing. Out. And the Raptors call time here. Yeah, you, you can sense he wasn't happy with how things are going here. Probably looking to change it up a bit. Yeah, no, not at all. It's a good call, Greg. They need a fresh, new approach here. is checked in for the Nets. Toronto's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. No good from McCaw. And here's Napier. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Out to the right wing from deep. And it's Graham missing. Boy, they're just giving him that shot. An easy opportunity for three just slips away. McCaw with the bucket. McCaw with the basket. Doris, when you view international basketball, 13 and 14-year-olds playing in academies, some players turning pro overseas at 16, would something like that work in this country? You know what, Kevin? I'm not necessarily for something like this. What I do believe is the NBA could become more involved across the board, and we should have more uniformity in basketball in general. And I think one of the ways to do that is to make sure we set up some sort of basketball committee across the different levels of basketball, starting with youth, going to high school, into college, then the semi-professional sort of basketball leagues out there or the formative leagues like the G League, and then the NBA. I think we just need to look at the game in its totality and create some measure of uniformity. But frankly, I don't love the idea of 13 and 14 year olds leaving their home to go to, quote, sport academies. Lynette shooting about 42% so far. Naper kicks to Fareed. The three from Dudley. Craig Monroe with the rebound. Monroe's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Two points, that one goes. McCaw's got eight here in the quarter. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Napier passes to Karuch. From downtown. Rebound by the Raptors. Ananobi's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Out left to the wing. Here's Karuch. But they get it back. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. Here's Fareed, and it's slammed in by Fareed. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. And it goes down two points. I like it. I like it. He broke out the fancy finish there. Richardson's gotten all three of his shots to fall for him. Three for three. Graham dishes to Dudley. Inside. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Here's Richardson. And a slam dunk by Richardson. Oh, fellas, that was vicious. Two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Richardson's gotten everything to drop so far. Shooting four of four. Fareed looking for an opening. Here's Karuch. The shot's good from Fareed. Oh, that's a pretty bounce pass. Nice. 
Here's McCaw, and the Raptors tack on two more. Boy, this guy has been transcendent this quarter. Something really lit a fire underneath this guy. Out to the wing. Karuch passes to Fareed. Here's Napier. Drops in the tray. Napier's got 13 points here in the second half alone. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Graham with the ball. You always hear coaches preaching consistency. Doris, what enables that kind of night-in, night-out reliability? Well, I think a lot goes into it, and you can start with pride, Kevin. If you're putting in the kind of preparation necessary, then you're going to take a certain amount of pride in the things you do on a night-by-night -night basis. Things aren't always going to go your way, but it's not how you end the night. It's how do you respond in the middle of the game when things are going against you? Calls haven't gone your way or perhaps there's a bad matchup. What's your response? So a lot of things go into consistency, and it's why we take special pride covering players who pride themselves on being available. And one of the most admired things you have, too, as well. Correct. Michael Jordan loved to play every night. To the wing on the left. Over in the corner, Dudley. Fires for three. Offensive rebound, Nets. Karooch. His three-pointer is off the mark. Toronto's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. McCaw with the bucket. I, I love this approach. Despite the lead, still attacking, adding fuel to the fire. They are absolutely relentless right now, Greg. There's no end in sight. They are going for it. Over in the corner, Dudley. Nets working now with a new shot clock. Pass to Karuch. Puts up a three. The shot, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Here's McCaw. They get it back. Monroe's shot is good. Oh, easy put back. No one got a body on it. Boy, I'll tell you, Greg, that's just inexcusable. All they had to do was box him out. You learn a lesson the hard way in that instance. Out to the right wing. Here's Karuch. And again, unable to change momentum here. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Raptors. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so checking out their record tonight, that'll mark win number 32 overall. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Leonard. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Fast break Toronto. Here's McCaw. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Napier finds for Reed. Stolen by Monroe. Richardson up top from 20 feet out. No good off the back of the rim. And here is Graham. Pass to McCaw. Shoots over Graham. McCaw misses. Now Graham got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Toronto calls timeout. They lead. Toronto. 12 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Well, guys, what do you think? You know, this is a timeout maybe just so they can pat each other on the back because no other reason to call it. You know, I think it's an opportunity just for the coach to see some execution. Finish this thing out the right way.
now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pinwitty with the bucket. Now here's Wright. Here's Miles. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Serge, big win tonight. Now, people may think you have some easy games on the schedule, but you did not play easy tonight. Of course, we know where we want to go, you know. That's why he was focused tonight. We got to finish strong. And it was a strong performance, Serge. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alters, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.